This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, I'm not trying to be mean here, okay? Brittany Renner, I know she said her past relationships and they weren't so great. Uh, some guys took advantage of her. And I think it broke her as a person because of what's happened with the PJ Washington situation. Um, nobody wants to have, no, in, a, in, a, in an ideal situation, nobody wants to have a baby out of wedlock because you want the mom and the dad to be consistent in the child's life. And in this situation, that happened. And PJ Washington was willing to try to make it work. But Brittany Renner was not. She said, this is not... This was never going to work long term, and all that. But the, you, you shouldn't. You should. You should have been. If you knew it wasn't going to be long term, both of them. This is both of them. Should have had protected. Should have wrapped it up, because now you're bringing a child into the world, and who, you know you could say whatever you want. Now these situations turn ugly. Brittany could move on with another guy, which she's talking about in this next segment right here. She wants to move on and be amical and laugh together and, you know, have PJ to be able to laugh back when he feels like he was taken advantage of. He feels like he was played. And that's how it's playing out in Instagram. Brittany Rennie's appearing to play PJ Washington like he was tricked. Now, a lot of women could say, no, he wasn't tricked. He was dumb. Yeah, yeah, sure he was, right? But maybe she... Just like some guys do to women and make the woman believe that the guy's really, you know, like, I'm really in love with you. And then you're really not. And then you pull back from the girl and cheat on her with somebody else. Right. Well, that happens with women, too. Women pretend to be in love with a guy. And then they, they have second thoughts later when it's a little too late. And I think Brittany is damaged from her past relationships. This happens with guys, too. It goes both ways. People get damaged. I've been a damaged person for past relationships before, and I wasn't ready to get into a relationship for a long time. But I knew that about myself, and I warned every girl, hey, I'm not ready for a long-term relationship. So if you're looking for that, I'm not the guy. It took me like three years to get over uh, what happened with me, you know? It was just like, you know, a girl broke my heart, man. You know, that happens to everybody, you know? And you're not ready to jump right back in and trust another person when you were kind of deceived in the last relationship. And I think that's where Brittany Renner was. And she went too far with this. And now you got a situation where kids involved. This is what Brittany says right here. And it's sad that she chose, chooses to go this route where she's kind of belittling PJ Washington, the father of her child. You know, come on, Brittany, make it work. Don't you have to be with him? But you don't got to tear him down in public either, you know, like make it work for the kid, you know? Work. <laughs> don't let your baby mama or your baby daddy block your blessings. I know in theory it sounds good keeping the same person to have kids with, but that's insanity as well. So if it doesn't work out with them, it'll work out with someone else. Okay? It just will. That's how that goes. And trust me, I know it's ghetto. It is so ghetto being a baby mama and thinking about multiple baby daddies is scary. But mm, me and my baby going to be all right. We're going to be all right. So we're moving forward, onward, upward. Okay. I know a lot of you are skeptical about talking to people with children, but I can assure you the baby mamas now, today, we don't give a damn. You can have them. I have exited the rat race. I am not. I want you to be around for a long time, not a good time. You can hold my son, put him on your story. I trust his judgment. I really do. I really, really do. I just want you guys to be happy. I swear, I do. Now, I'm not a but you know, I can't speak for the other, 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 other hoes that you don't know about. You know, maybe I'll definitely be in your favor, but I am here for it, okay? Like people move on. Save the, you should have got the ring first. It wasn't going to work out anyways. It just wasn't going to work out. Let's laugh together and let's raise this baby, you know? <laughs> oh, it is ghetto. It's so fucking ghetto. <laughs> um, in conclusion, stepdaddy season. Big aura, big lumber, big follow through need only.
Yeah, so she's saying it's stepdaddy season. I, you know, uh, it's just weird. It's like I don't know. I hey, I hope she's doing okay because it seems like she's like I, I don't know. You know, I hope I hope everything works out for the baby's sake. To be honest with you, because like I just hope I hope the baby has a healthy relationship with the father and the mother and everything works out that's all i can hope for because that's the thing that's the most disheartening is when it affects a kid's upbringing you know granted i didn't have the best one either you know my dad was like like absent dad that's not the case here it's a different situation but my dad was like i don't know out to lunch you know so you know i don't know I don't even know what that has to do with anything. I just, I can relate to, you know, PJ seems like a good guy, so he's going to be there as much as he can. I just hope she always honors the agreement that he can see the kids and that she's good with the kids. You know, I hope everything's good. I hope everything works out the way it should. Anyways, guys, uh, Brittany Renner's always a little different, but uh, I hope she's all right. I hope he's all right. We'll just see what happens here. <laughs> this is Jordan Dow with JT News. Smash that like button. And make sure you date somebody at least a year or two, at least two to three years before you have kids, okay? There's time. You don't have to rush, okay? There's no time to rush. The, the, the thing you don't rush into is having a child, okay? So try to date two or three years before so you really know each other and you think it's going to work, <laughs> okay? A lot of people rush into it. Some of my friends have, and it doesn't end well. If you've only been with somebody for like eight months and then you decide to get married and have a kid right away because you're rushing, it's not good. Never works out.